Okay, what is up everybody, and today we're back again with another video, and today we're going to be looking at how to hunt the Iberian Wolves, how to do the shots on them, where they drink, what colors they use, and what weapons I would recommend for them. So, why don't we start with the first thing, what colors can you use for these guys? So, in my inventory I did bring both of them, so if we go in here, the Predator Distressed Fawn collar does work on them, as well as the Predator Jackrabbit collar, something you should know about these. There isn't a 100% guarantee that they're going to be coming in with these collars. There's like a 70 or 80% chance, I'm pretty sure, that they will come in or not come in. So, just be aware of that if you're using this. They may come in or they may not come in. Now, as you can see in the top right, they are a class 5 animal. So anything like the 243, the Mosin, the M1, the 30-06, the 7mm, the Rhino, the 357, all those kind of weapons that range between classes like 2 to 6 or 3 to 6, 4 to, 4 to 8, 4 to 9, all of those will work. My personal favorite is the M1, but if they do attack because they do go aggressive sometimes, I do just like bringing the 357 because it's an easy way to get like pistol score and it does kill them pretty reliably but for all the rest of things I just like using the M1 as it's powerful and very accurate. Now before we hunt them why don't we quickly talk about where they actually drink and my favorite locations. So all of this up here is great for wolves. This lake is amazing there's a ton of them around. This lake is okay, they usually like to drink on this edge, haven't seen too many down here. This lake is usually always full of them, they kind of drink wherever. This lake here, mostly on this edge here, I haven't seen too many over here. As you can, let me go back on my binoculars, as you can see I don't really have any here. I mean, it looks pretty pretty empty. So you might have a different like result you might have more on this side and that side i'm just talking about my map here but that's kind of what i've noticed this like all around it but mostly again around the back and at this one hotspot location here in the middle then this lake all around it again as well there isn't like one spot where i tell you to go this lake sometimes has some but it i i seemingly don't have them there all the time they're sometimes there and they're sometimes not there so just go look around it, you'll hopefully find something. All of these five lakes here are usually also pretty good for wolves. For this lake up here in particular, I just want to quickly mention one thing. I don't usually see them down here. I usually see them up in this corner over here. So just be aware of that because this is very thick. So you're not going to see much even with the night vision binoculars, which I would highly recommend you use for this because using the normal binoculars on here is gonna make it so much harder for you to actually see them like let me quickly equip it and just it's so much harder to see these wolves like oh they're there okay they're traveling away right now but it should be fine okay they just moved somewhere else but it's it's just a lot harder to see through this so that's why I would recommend if you're doing something, any night hunting in general, just use these. It makes it a little bit easier to spot and see the animals. Now, let's move on to another topic, which is when do they drink? So they drink from 12 p.m. to 3 a.m., but obviously their zones may start at 12.30 or may end at 3.30. That's just going to be dependent on every single zone. This one that we have over here. If we look on it, if I can actually highlight it, is going to be, see it's 0 to 3.30, so it is a longer zone, but they sometimes can be shorter. You can be very unlucky and have it from 12.30 to 3, so you only have two and a half hours rather than the full three, but that is more unlikely. Usually if they start later, they will also end later. Now let's move on with some other spots. So we just talked about these lakes over here. You can have them down here, but not too lucky with this lake on my map. I know people on multiplayer do have zones here, and I have a friend who says, like, this back end is full of wolves from I have zero there. So, then again, that's map luck there. 
they will come around this lake. Usually they're congregated here in the center, so just run from either of these houses depending on how your wind is and you should see them on this back edge, back edge here. Sometimes they hide over here, but even then you're going to probably spook them or they're going to attack you before you'll find their drinking zone. They don't really come to this lake. I haven't, well, I've seen them like resting and feeding around the lake in the middle here, but I don't think I've ever seen a drink zone for them. So I wouldn't bother checking that if I were you. I wouldn't go to this lake either. I would go to this lake as there is usually a couple at least around here. And you'll also see them during the day resting up here and just roaming around and spooking away everything in the morning. So that's always a good sign when you see them roaming around and like scaring things off. They usually are also going to drink around those lakes. Now let's come back to shot placement because you guys seem to enjoy that. We're kind of far out for 150 but with the M1 it's, it's no big deal. So it's going to be hard in the dark for you guys to see where I'm aiming. And you can see again, I have, I'm having trouble here trying to find them because it is so dark. But generally, that is where you want to aim. It is pretty hard to drop them, but if you get that hit, it's it's usually always a guaranteed kill. Now, I'm hoping that they're going to attack so I can show you what you guys have to do for that. But if they don't, which I tried not to kill the 7 so that they would actually attack. But it says that they're fleeing, so... I don't think they will actually do that, which is sad, but we're going to go to one other location in a second and try it out. And if I can't manage to get them to attack me, then I'll just kind of give you a rundown of what I would do. But as a basic, I would always run in the water because if you're standing around eh, this far away from the land, they won't actually be able to attack you. So at that point, you can just casually shoot them with like the 357, a shotgun, a bow or the M1 or whatever other rifle you are using because it will work and it is very 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 effective at doing so. If you don't have water nearby well make sure you have med packs with you because if you just heal yourself up after they attack you like twice or three times then you're back at full health and you can go back at them. Usually also if you don't want them to attack any further just kill the biggest male which make sure you spot them not that you have a nine legendary there and accidentally give it a brain shot and kill it because that wouldn't be very good but here's our wolf and yeah i aimed a little bit too far forward generally like i say with all my other guides look where you can see the shoulder blade and just aim slightly above it and slightly to the left of it or if you're on this side slightly above it and slightly to the right so more towards the center of the animal now let's go through the requirements so for silver they need 32 points for gold they need 36 and for diamond they need 39 now i believe their max weight estimate is uh, 45 to 50 kilograms so they are quite a bit lighter than the gray wolves but again you get great cash with these guys pretty decent xp as well and amazing rifle scores so if you're trying to get either of those things and you have quattro cleaners as a beginner definitely definitely do make sure you go out here and hunt these guys because it will give you a ton of xp a ton of cash and really good rifle score just like the black bears would on latent lakes so we've got some more here and they are a bit closer so hopefully they will decide to attack i mean let me try and get two of them down and yeah there you go they are aggressive now so now i can kind of show you guys what you should be doing make sure you zero for like 25 meters because otherwise oh they're not attacking anymore did i kill the two biggest males it appears i haven't but i have a big group now attacking me which i mean isn't bad but i have very low health so why don't we very quickly jump in the water here so i can show you guys what i was talking about and even here it's really nice because we can actually get pretty deep in the water and then let's just pull out the 357 and start blasting away at these now uh, you should maybe not aim as far back as i did but geez okay let me get out the m1 for that you kind of saw what i was doing here and they did flee straight away so it does work it is very effective and you kind of got to see what I was going to do. I was just going to kind of work my way down 
to try and take down as many as I can before they all start fleeing. Sadly this time they all just decided to run straight away so we didn't really have a chance but if they're quartering at you, I just noticed that while doing this, aim kind of below their neck so that you can try and get both lungs. They have very long lungs towards the front as well so if you kind of have like a quartering angle kind of aim where I just showed you there so kind of around about there and you should be fine with doing that let's look where we hit this guy with the okay so we just aim too low on the, that one the level three and then we got middle neck upper neck which obviously will always drop an animal no matter what size it is but with that being said, that's kind of all you need to know for the Iberian Wolves. If you have any other questions or concerns, just comment them down below. I will try and answer as best as I can. If there's something longer or you have other questions, make sure to join my Discord. A link to that will be in the description down below. But if you liked the guide and you thought this was very helpful, definitely make sure to leave a like as it really does help the channel out a lot and makes it so that YouTube promotes my video more and can share it to more people who will hopefully enjoy the guide just as much as you did. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed or you're new around here, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're always notified when I upload new content just like this or you get notified when I live stream. But with that being said, have a good day, bye bye and peace.